Hey everyone, I uh, recently got asked what settings I use for Cam Studio. Now I kind of upgraded and I'm using some different programs now, but Cam Studio is still a great program for beginners. It will really help you. So uh, I'm going to show you some uh, some settings that I particularly use for uh, uploading to YouTube. Um, it gives gives you pretty good quality. It's not really good for like recording video games, but you can record your screen like I'm doing right now. And I'm, I'm not using Cam Studio obviously because I can't really show you everything like that so so uh first of all go into like video options you're gonna have a list of compressors uh you can either use like TechSmith or i would definitely recommend cam studio lossless codec if you're using cam studio because obviously that's the codec designed for it now it'll probably be around like right here it might be even down lower uh just put it at 100 and you can configure it if you want the best compression and that means you want a smaller file file size and you're going to want to make it to go to 9 if you want it just to uh to run fast and not and be smooth and not lag then you probably want 1 but then again that'll make a huge file size so uh what i usually do is i just put it around like 6 or i think that's kind of the basic now uh, you don't really need to adjust that. You want it at uh, the maximum frame rate. That will make it so it doesn't like doesn't lag when you're doing that. You don't want that to happen. So just press OK on that. Now uh, I usually record from my microphone, so record audio from microphone, and then we go to audio options, audio options for microphone. And uh, right now I'm using my USB device, so put that. And uh, PCM is pretty good. What else is there? Yeah, PCM is pretty much the only one you're going to use. So, now uh, let's go. Um, I sometimes use auto pan in uh, some of my videos, so you can enable auto pan, auto pan speed. Um, I think I like it around 100. I'm not sure though, but 100 is pretty good. It'll make it really fast, so it'll like go to where your cursor is going. Now, uh, here one second, let me. So, program options. You're gonna want to. Uh, this is just my personal. What I like to do. Uh, save settings on exit. Capture translucent slash layered windows. Um, I didn't really understand what that meant at first when I first started using Cam Studio a while back. But later I learned that it's probably best just to keep it on, cause uh, I think it, like, uh, I don't I don't remember what it records, but some basic Windows functions that you're gonna want to keep it on, cause it records those. So, uh, hide flashing rectangle during recording. I always do that, cause I don't like that flashing rectangle. It really annoys me. Now you can play the AVI file. Uh, keep the directory for recording the same because it'll ask you where you want to save it. Uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, I usually do F8 and F9. I don't know, that's just my personal. You can put it whatever, it's not going to matter. Mm, something the same. I don't know. Cancel recording key has the same keystrokes as shows us higher player out key. Find the do. Okay, I don't know why that's being dumb. But uh, that's what I, that's what I usually use. I don't really see any other options that we really want to uh, do. I guess you can, if you want to change the cursor. I don't. I just usually keep the cursor on since I usually only do like screen recordings with Cam Studio because there's much better programs for doing like games and other things but you can hide the cursor if you want but I just use my actual cursor I don't really like using the custom cursors but you can highlight it if you really want but I think it's kind of annoying so but uh, yeah guys that's some of my uh, basic settings for cam studio it usually turns out pretty well in HD um, this won't make it straight up HD you have to of course use a video editing software and render in HD but it makes it look pretty good and it's got pretty good frame rate but then again, sometimes it makes a big size, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, So, yeah, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.